good day welcome this is your daily med with lady v grace peace be multiplied today we look at psalm 90 verse 1 through verse 6 we have been looking previously at what the wise man solomon says to us and today we will see what moses says to us in this psalm we know that moses led the children of israel through the wilderness but from time to time the tolling of the death bell was heard as we look at the scene in the wilderness of Sinai we will see that it has been years since the spies returned and so when they returned they said well okay we can't possess the land ten says so while two says yes we are well able we are capable of doing so the two that says that they were capable and believed and trust god was caleb and joshua all the others says we are like grasshoppers we can't do it and so god says listen because of your unbelief you will not enter the land that i have promised in the book of hebrews we are warned just like uh, the children when they were uh, of israel when they were in the wilderness let us therefore fear let us fear god and believe that what he says is true because he says outside of that when unbelief sets in we ourselves even in today's life will not inherit the kingdom that he's gone to prepare if we do not believe so every morning a reporter would come to moses's tent and the reporter will bring fresh report or fresh news of casualties death 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 and more deaths people were dying and if we understand god says all those i would say oleds all those who have become oleds now who has left egypt they will not go they are going to die in the wilderness only those that were born and they are young i mean just about 20 years old those are the ones that would inherit the land so time after time the commonest thing the commonest news the commonest conversation amongst them were death so the wilderness seemed to be like an expanding cemetery they have to be burying people after people mass graves as it were so every time the people break camp they leave another field or a cemetery of dead people behind so as we pick up our story in psalm 90 verse 1 through 6 we see a prayer of moses the man of god he says in verse 1 lord you have been our dwelling place in all generations before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world even from everlasting to everlasting you are god you turn men to destruction and said return o children of men for a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past and like a watch 
in the night. Goes on to say, you carry them away like a flood. They are like a sleep. In the morning, they are like grass which grows up. In the evening, it flourishes and grows up. In the evening, it is cut down and it withers. So what is Moses saying here to us? He's telling us about this frailty of life. Old age will come and death is sure. So on this particular day, Moses, the man of God, had all he can take. He was overwhelmed by the mountain toll of death. So he retrieved to his tent. He falls prostrate on the ground and he pour out a prayer unto God. And we see that in verse 1 and 2 in the midst of all that is going on and the death that surrounds him. He first knew that he can find relief in the eternity of the Lord while everything else around him might be failing. When things around him seem to be vanishing, God is unchanging a home of relief for his people. He says from eternity and to all eternity, you are our God. He recognized that he says, God, you are eternal, you are unchangeable, you are infinite in your being, in your wisdom, in your power, in your holiness, in your justice, in your goodness, in your righteousness, in your truth. So Moses knew who God is. The Bible says God talked to him face to face. And so he was trying to assure himself that in contrast to God's agelessness and his eternity, he looked at the brevity of human life. It is short. It seems that God is constantly issuing the order. Because sure enough, he is sovereign. He says to man in verse 3 and 4, Return to dust. And the never-ending line of graves, dead bodies were there. So the one who is eternal, fallen man's original lifespan was of about a thousand years. It is no more that is in the past. It is history. It is just a, a memory or a fraction, the Bible would say, of a night. In verse and 5 and 6, he says, even as Moses look at human life, it seems as if all this death that is coming about, it is like a sleep. Like somebody went to sleep and have a dream and then guess what? Awake and then before you know it, uh, such one themselves uh, is gone. They have passed away from time into eternity. Life is like grass, he says. Fresh and green in the morning, then faded and withered by evening. Somebody say it is sown, then it is grown, then it is blown, then it is mo mo moon, meaning they mow it, and then it is gone. So what is Moses saying to us in the psalm? He reminds us that a thousand years are like a day to the Lord. 
and that God is not limited by time. It's easy to get discouraged when years pass and the world and the situations in our lives does not get better. We sometimes wonder if God is able to see the future. We sometimes wonder if God even knows what is currently going on in our lives. But don't assume that God has limitations like we do. God is completely unrestricted by time. He is eternal and we can depend upon him. What he wants us to do is to remember him who is our, who is our creator. To believe in him and trust him. Not doing all that we think we need to do first before we come and serve him. Because we do not know what is our allotted days on the earth. Remember, life is short. Death is sure. Eternity will come. And we must give an account to an eternal God. So therefore we are being reminded by the wise man Solomon. And here we are today being reminded by Moses, the man of God, who saw firsthand how frail and how short man's life can be. So let us trust him in the now and do not wait for the future because like the rich young ruler, we do not know how much time we have on the earth. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. It is free. Like, share, also comment, and continue to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady B.